Hi guys, what's up? I'm Mira, and today we're going to be looking at an After Effects tutorial. We're going to be working with Element 3D, and we're going to be looking at the um, animation processes and how you can use those to make your cinematics look pretty awesome. So I'm going to give you an example. Check it out. Alright, so there you go, you uh, you definitely get a pretty cool effect from what I'm going to be showing you here today. Um, you can see like the floor kind of falls in and uh, it looks pretty cool. So we're going to get started, we're going to create a new solid. And uh, on the solid we're just going to put on element. And we're just going to drag element onto the solid. Alright. So we don't need to really adjust any of these settings here unless you have a specific thing that you want to do. But we're just going to go into the scene setup and we're going to go into the project or sorry, the starter pack and we're going to go to the floor fracture. Basically the floor fracture is a pre-fractured square that you can use to do some pretty cool stuff. So we're going to create a new material. We're going to go to the diffuse type and we're going to load a texture. And uh, I already have a I already have a set texture. I'm gonna use the exact same one as I did for the cinematic. So not in there. Here we go. Texture. We're gonna open that up. Okay. And then we're gonna take the material and we're gonna drag it onto our floor fracture. So there we go. Looks pretty good. And uh, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wanna press OK. And I forgot to create a camera, so I'm gonna do that too. New camera. Okay. So now we have this camera with this plane here. Now, if we want to animate this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back into the scene setup. We're going to have to put a floor fracture on one and two, which basically creates two copies. So we can go into the group two, go into the replicator and say move it down in Y space. So now we have the two and say we go into the animation engine, enable the animation engine, which will delete the second one. So we can go into the animation and we can start the animation, say end it at like around three seconds, put that at 100%. And there we go, we have a really clean, just up and down animation, nothing much to it, pretty simple. But then we can mess around with some of the settings, say, um, say we go into the group two, I'm just going to go to the group two here and uh, say enable multi object which will make the fracture actually work. Say we want to make the displace, displacement for the Z and the Y. Maybe we want to add some random rotation, uh, maybe a little bit more Y. So now we're going to get this pretty cool effect that kind of looks like it's kind of breaking, exploding into, uh, exploding into space. So uh, we can also change a couple of the animation engine settings, such as create a radial which basically is going to fall down almost. And uh, if we want to make it look more like it's falling down instead of just kind of exploding from the middle, we can always go up to the group two particle and just move it down in Y space. So now we have this cool kind of exploding downwards effect, which looks pretty cool. This is how I did the effect in the cinematic. We're going to cut to a new one and I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so now we have two different words. You can't really see it too well right now, but it does say hi and bye. We're gonna put on the animation engine and we're gonna see what happens. This is something that you cannot do with the animation engine. It's not a morphing device, unfortunately. It'd be pretty cool if it was, but it doesn't kind of work like that. So we're gonna just animate this at zero and 100%. And I forgot to turn on the animation engine, okay. So there we go. So unfortunately, this is kind of how it works. It basically just does a simple transition like this. So that's something that you can't do with the uh, with the animation engine built into After Effects. Um, it still kind of creates a cool um, bit of a transition. Maybe if you wanted to kind of mess with like the smoothness and maybe maybe radial. Does that do anything? Not really. But uh, you know, you could kind of mess with it. And you might be able to make something kind of cool, but this is something that you can't do. It's not a morphing engine, so it won't like kind of morph by into high. But uh, we're going to jump into another one, and I'll see you guys there. 
All right, guys, so now we have two basically box spheres. You can see I have one that's orange and one that's green, and we're going to be looking at how you can basically animate these into each other. So I'm going to start the animation process by simply enabling it, which is going to turn off the uh, orange layer, and now we're just going to have this green sphere looking pretty cool. And uh, we're going to turn on the animation process and maybe four seconds into it, we're going to put it on 100%. So there we go. And now we have this cool kind of morph that changes the color as well as kind of how it looks. So this is something that you can do that's really cool with the animation engine. You can do this with all kinds of shapes and objects. And say maybe you wanted it more smoothness. We could definitely smooth it up a little bit. So it's a little bit like that. I don't like the smoothness, to be honest. I like it down. So it has this more edged feel to it. It kind of looks like that. Say uh, we can always go to maybe the directional options and we can turn it more towards the camera, maybe a little bit uh, up. And we kind of have an upwards kind of feel to it. Maybe we can add a radial effect and see how that looks. Uh, not really sure how that's radial, but looks kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know. There's just, you know, lots of settings you can go for. Just the uniform basic setting. I like the directional when it comes to this one, but uh, you could always go into maybe the group settings, turn on the multi object, and then do some random rotation maybe to the blocks. So it kind of morphs into this cool rotational blocks. I don't know. It's really up to you. It's a, it's a pretty cool animation engine built into After Effects and Element 3D that I use a lot for my cinematics and edits. But uh, that's about it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like, comment, as well as subscribe. My name is Mira. Peace.